Let's do this one really vague question. Right? So I'm going to read this and then tell you what my peeve with this is. The sum of the perimeter of an equilateral triangle and a rectangle is 90 centimeters. The area T of, a, of the triangle and area R of a rectangle, both in centimeter square, satisfy the relation R equal to T square. I hate these kind of questions where both of these are the same units. And then you capture it in centimeter square and frame this equation. Like there are hundreds of ways to frame the equation without resorting to this. Fine. My P was side. We'll come back to this one. The sides of the rectangle are in the ratio 1 is to 3. The length of in centimeters of the longer side of the rectangle is whatever, whatever it is. Fine. So the perimeter of equal triangle and a rectangle is 90 centimeters. I'm going to start with the rectangle. And so this is x, this is 3x, x. 3x and so perimeter is 8x lovely the area t of the triangle and area r of a rectangle both in centimeter square satisfy the relation r equals t square and first of all let's say side of the equal triangle is a and area would be root 3 by 4 a square and so r equals t square so if you square this that should be equal to area of the rectangle. So we take this and square this. That will be equal to area of the rectangle, which is 3x square. Root 3 by 4 a square, the whole square is 3x square. Lovely. So root 3 by 4 a square, the whole square is 3 by 16 a power 4 equals 3x square. a power 4 is 16 x square or a square equals 4 x. Lovely. a square equals 4 times x. Now we can go on and say then the, the longer side of the rectangle. That's what we need to find. After this, we can even go on to trial and error, which is what I'm going to do. The longer side of the rectangle is 3 x. We know that a square Let's go back here. We know a square is 4x. If 3x were 27, then x would be 9. Then 8x is 72. The remaining a, the side of the triangle, is 6. So x is 9, a is 6, a square is 36, 4 into 9 is 36. This works. This works. After that point of time, we can slip into trial and error and then simplify. If we want to still avoid trial and error, we know a square equal to 4x. We know 8x plus 3a equals 90. a square is 4x. So 8x would be 2a square. 2a square plus 3a minus 90 equal to 0. Solve that. We'll get some expression for a and then we can simplify and solve for that. Fine. So uh, a routine question, mildly irritating. At least I feel peeved by it because of that one expression r equal to t square. I find it an annoying way of uh, describing a question. Otherwise, very doable. Gosh.